My name is Ryan Resnick. I'm a junior at Owen J. Roberts High School. When I go out on the mat, I think like, wow, this kid has the audacity to step on the mat with me and I'm going to make him pay for it. And that's kind of the mindset I have going into every single match and that's kind of what drives me to wrestle the way I do, really aggressively and just try to inflict my will on every single kid I wrestle. He might be the best pure athlete I've ever coached, just from the standpoint of his control of his body and what he can do. And uh, there is a video out there that he is being thrown a football and he does a flip, reaches out with one hand and catches the ball. And uh, it's unbelievable to see. It, it, it's something there you just look at and say, how does he do that? I enjoy stuff that's not really easy to others because I think that just makes it more fun to me. He plays off his athleticism and the technique that he uses and, and some of the things that he can do, his misdirection shots, um, his duck unders, his boot scoots, you know, they're higher level skills that require a lot of athleticism and, uh, and he can pull it off. And he has the athleticism to hit things that some other kids just can't hit. I really embrace like the tough matches. I love wrestling tough competition. Um, it shows me where I'm at and what I need to do to get to the next level. When I step on the mat, I know in my head I can beat the kid. Ryan's competitiveness comes out in practice. And if you turn anything into a, a competition, you really see uh, Ryan at his best. So if you turn a, a practice into, let's see how many takedowns we can get this go, or you know whoever loses this next go has to do 50 push up Ryan wins everyone, everyone. I love practice, it kind of gets my mind off everything else. It's some place I can go and just forget about other things and just focus on that and I really love that about wrestling. I try to lead by example. I try to be the hardest worker in the room. Um, during morning runs when we get up at 6 a.m. I'm running as fast as I can every single go, every single sprint and I, I try to win every single one. I think that's what sets me apart. My conditioning is just I'm ready to wrestle. I have a twin brother Luke and I would say that's a huge advantage. We've been wrestling our whole entire lives. We We've gotten in a bunch of tussles. I mean, we go at it. I, I remember seeing Ryan and Luke together ever since they were little. And whenever I saw one, I saw the other. They have kind of natural workout partners, uh, live-in workout partners. And uh, you know, if they need a, somebody to go run with or, or hit the weights with, you, you got somebody there all the time that, that you can work out with. And uh, that's pretty neat. And, and they take advantage of that. And they have somebody who not only knows you know, what, what it's like to wrestle, but what it's like to be there in that practice that very day. Um, and I think that helps that they lean on each other a lot and, and we as coaches it helps us a lot because it, it you know there's a lot of times where we can go to Luke and be like what's up with Ryan and Luke has a keen insight or Ryan can come up to us and be like you need to say this to Luke. It's kind of just like an extra coach because we know each other better than anyone else does. I have my brother it's, it's the best. I'm sitting in the barn and it's kind of like one of my second homes uh, I love it here Luke and I come here all the time and we put in extra work I mean, I would say one of the first things we do after having a tough week or we have a tough loss is we come here and we brainstorm and we figure out what we need to do to the point where that won't happen again. A couple years ago, I participated in the two-week intensive J-Rob camp at Edinburgh University. And um, that was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I, I, feel, I feel like it completely changed my outlook on everything. Black Hat is what they give to the hardest working kid in the four wrestling groups. And I remember after the first night, we did two workouts and I, I did everything in my power to work as hard as I could and I ended up getting a negative. And I was freaking out. I, was, I, I had no idea what I was doing wrong. And I just realized I had to push past the walls I made in my head and I have to work harder. So the next 13 days, I didn't get any negatives. I got all positives or neutrals and I ended up getting the black hat. It's kind of the icing on the cake, but the shirt's what everyone goes for and that's something I cherish. I mean, when I look at it, I just see all the hard work I put into it and all the blood and sweat that I put into that camp and I got the I Did It shirt and when people see you wearing that, they know like you've been through hell, but like you made it and now you're that much stronger. Currently right now I'm enrolled in three honors classes and I have a cumulative GPA of 3.6. I had Ryan as a student in my eighth grade physical science uh, honors class, and um, he brings the competitiveness that he has in sports uh, on the mat into the classroom. And, and he competes, he competes against other kids, he competes against himself, 
and uh, you know he sees it as a competition, and, and he wants to, you know, he wants to win. So he, he puts in work to do well. When I get to college, I expect to be successful. I know I have the talent, and I know I can work hard enough to exceed my expectations. Um, I want to be the first All-American in my family. My cousin Jimmy wrestled for Ryder University, and he made it to the round of 12. So I want to be the first All-American in the family. As far as Ryan wrestling at the next level, and uh, you know, we've been fortunate here at O&J to have some kids do that so we can see some of the qualities those kids have. Ryan has two qualities that I think will lend him well at the next level. One of them is his athleticism and his skill set. Um, Ryan can, can hit moves and do techniques that kids who don't have his athleticism can't do. And at the next level, that athleticism is important. Um, you know, we, we went to the NCAA tournament and the athleticism of those kids is amazing. And I see some of those uh, things in Ryan. And, and the things you can't teach, a kid has them or they don't, and Ryan has them. And his competitive nature, um, you know, college is tough. It's tough physically, it's tough um, emotionally, academically, socially, in all those ways, it, it puts a lot of demands on you. And you have to be, something has to drive you to succeed and be successful. And Ryan, his competitive nature will do that. I feel like I could be an, a positive attribute to a college team because of my, my mindset going into everything, like practice-wise, um, competition-wise, match-wise. I'm always in it, my head's always in it, and I'm always ready for a battle. And I love that, I love battling. And I think going into college, I would embrace it like a battle. I would be ready for what, it's, what it has to throw at me. I'd be ready for what the practices are gonna be like, and I would just go after it, and I would, I would succeed, I know that.